like the ride ever since debuting here in WOW. A big win over the veteran Chantilly Chella, and then she's joined the Brad Pack. And they have been successful so much so that they are now in the, our first ever semi-final matchup here in the WOW Trios Tournament. Here they are, and little Jay Boogie, is she under the right influence, Nigel? Well, she's under a winning team, David, and that's exactly where you want to be if you're in this trio's tournament. I guess you got that right. And their opponents, accompanied to the ring by Coach Campanelli from Roseland, New Jersey, Huntington, Indiana, and Tampa, Florida. Coach Campanelli. Well, they were trying to help Coach Campanelli, but Coach Campanelli seemed a little confused. Maybe she wanted to be a part of the trios. Maybe she didn't like him taking matters into their hands, if you will. But I think they've done a great thing. They're loosening up the reins here for the coach to do what she should do best, which is coach. Well, everybody seems to be on a unified front this week. Maybe coach was taken a little off guard. In fact, she said, I thought I was the coach. But hey, sometimes your star players can make good decisions. And that's why she has Ariel Sky and Pep Riley. Everybody pipe down. Hold it. Hold it. We got something to say. Hey, coach, listen up. This is what you got. Ariel, bye. These are your top performers? Nah, we looking at a bunch of bench warmers. Bench warmers? Come on, how disrespectful. They don't know if Sasha Sparks is a bench warmer or not. No, Pep Riley spent her whole life in cheerleading and doing football, basketball in high school at a very high level competition. Well, Sasha Sparks is gonna start off the competition. Sasha Sparks making her in-ring debut here at WOW Women of Wrestling, and what a way to do it as part of the new team spirit in this trios tournament semi-final matchup, David. Pep Riley, of course, won the tryouts, if you will, if you call it that, by being selected by Coach Campanelli to be a member of Team Spirit. But obviously, Sasha Sparks was possibly in that tournament, and Ariel Sky kept her phone number and called her to be a part of Team Spirit tonight. She sure did, and uh, I tell you what, David, it was an international search. So Sasha Sparks now in with the snapmare, and Pep Riley, the cartwheel, certainly showing a lot of spirit. And the crossbody gets a one count, but one count closer to winning this matchup. La Hamas to cradle there by Pep Riley. Referee Ben Scheinberg in charge of the action here in this semifinal matchup. What a matchup it's going to be in the main event tonight, Nigel. And Ben Scheinberg, of course, ministering the count over there. But on the main event, David, as you were saying, Princess Aussie finally gets the opportunity. One on one with Abilene Maverick, who some would say stole the WOW World Championship tonight. Princess Aussie gets the opportunity to regain that championship. That's the main event tonight. You're watching the opening match here on WOW, fans. And little Jay Boogie is in there. Lift it up. And snap Mary Pep Riley. David, I know that fans tuning in might not be used to seeing some of these unfamiliar faces. We've got new roster members. Don't forget to check out WOWE.com for more information on your favorite WOW superheroes or WOW superheroes on all of our social media accounts as the Brat Pack seems to be in full control, at least at this moment, of the trios matchup. This is on those platforms. They can connect with the superheroes by just going to at WOW superheroes. And of course, Nigel, you get all that WOW swag on Wow, W-O-W-E, and look at this, the Brock Pack picking and bullying on Pep Riley. That's right, and now it's Ben Scheinberg distracted by Gigi Gianni. BK Rhythm choking out Pep Riley on that oh, second that row. That a vicious hit. Gigi Gianni knew the game plan exactly, got a two count, but again, I, I just don't see where this is uh, good for the impressionable little Jay Boogie there. 
She was on such a good run. <laughs> the one that said it was okay because they were on a winning team. Little Jay Boogie was on a winning team. Yeah, well, they're winning, but I'm saying that it's not good by cheating. I mean, Little Jay Boogie seemed to have it together and didn't have to cheat in her first matchup with Chantilly Joe, but nonetheless, Nonetheless, it doesn't matter how you win the matchup, David, I suppose, as we've learned from Lana Starr and the Fab Four through the years. Well, they had the championship titles, but no more. Lana Starr's mantle's a little empty right now. Let's go back into the action. DK Rhythm, take it down. Pep Riley. Dumps her with the sidewalk slam, followed up by that elbow, and the point of that elbow sure did land on little Pep Riley. Boy, you can just see. Pep Riley's gear has been unsnapped, if you will. And her neck is snapped definitely thanks to BK Rhythm now, clubbing blow to the, uh, the top part of the back of Pep Riley. BK Rhythm charges and eats the boots of little Pep Riley, who seems fired up and spirited as ever. Cross body, goes for the cover and is kicked off at one. Tag the Ariel Sky of Team Spirit. Ariel Sky back, handspring Larry connects to little J Boogie. Nice elbow by Ariel Sky to take off the momentum of Gigi Gianni, and now she flies high and takes her over. That's right, the Hurricane Rana on Ariel Sky as Gigi Gianni in the corner. Ariel Sky, though, clutching her knee, seems to have possibly injured herself. She pull out the knee? I'm really not sure, David. She seems to be injured and very hurt now as Gigi Gianni. She's locking in right now. Referee Ben Scheinberg on top of it. Ariel Sky taking a desperate fall there. Rear chin lock by Gigi Gianni and Ariel Sky trying to get her legs up underneath her. It seems to. No, Nigel. Look, look. Her legs are wobbly. She's not there with her foot. Hey, Ben Scheinberg has put the signal up to call the match. Scheinberg has smartly called the match. Ariel Sky is hurt. And it looks like Ariel Sky has definitely been injured and cannot continue this match. Let's get an EMT to ringside. Ariel Sky is hurt right now. Let's get an EMT to ringside, please. The match has been called by Ben Scheinberg. The match ends in a no contest. Certainly not the way that we wanted this to wind up, David, but our performer's safety is number one. It's paramount here with Wild Women of Wrestling. Fans, this is upsetting. Ariel Sky obviously taking a severe hit to the head, as you can see right there. She has been dazed. The match being called successfully by Ben Scheinberg. We will be back with more of Wow in Moments. Welcome back, fans. We're still tending to Ariel Sky, and you can hear it. The audience is all rooting for her as the officials and the superheroes, Coach Campanelli, Sasha Sparks, and Pep Riley are tending to her. Safety always a matter of being first here in WOW. Ben Scheinberg successfully calling that match. Thank you, Ben. No contest in that match. Ariel Sky taking a severe hit and a fall right there in the ring. EMT's on hand. Let's make sure she's okay before we bring in the next match. Ariel Sky is up. Let's give her a hand, fam. The fans cheer Ariel on as the medics help her off. Jeff McGowan there, everyone on hand as she's making her way back to the dressing room. Let's check out the replay here. Right here, fans, you see Ariel Sky going high for that maneuver over Gigi Gianni, and as she twisted and turned, oh my, Nigel, you saw her head right there. Smash right into the purple mat of WOW. And right there, you can see that she was knocked loose, not knowing where she is, and Ben Scheinberg quickly jumping in right there, asking if the wrestler was okay. Could have had a concussion, could be a knee injury, we're not sure, but as we always say, safety is number one. Taking another look here. You mentioned the replay. knee, I think it's the head, Nigel. Look at that, ooh, the head went right into the mat. Nonetheless, this is not how we wanted the trios tournament to continue, so therefore the match was called off completely. These two teams will have a chance to compete later on, David, in the tournament. Possibly, if Ariel Sky can make it into the competition, it is okay and cleared by the medical technicians of WOW. We would welcome that, Nigel. That's right, David.
Pollock be beaten. Those two ladies were the ones that assisted with the mirror, smashed them over the heads of the mother truckers in that fatal four-way. And we're having this matchup, this chance of revenge tonight because of the actions of Mickey Lynn McCoy and Penelope Pink of the Fab Four. Nigel, I gotta ask your thoughts. Look at this, Mickey Lynn McCoy coming into ringside in the neck brace. Do you feel she's milking it a little too long now? I mean, how long? This reminds me of Bobby the Brain Heenan when Dick the Bruiser took out his neck back in the 80s. I mean, is Vicky Lynn McCoy really this injured? And their opponents from the truck stop capital of the world, Jackson, Tennessee, Big Ring from Vicki Lynn McCoy. Is she milking that neck injury a little too long? You jumped in there with that mirror. How come your neck is still in My the neck race? is fine, and you'll see that when you get the medical bills, David. You gotta send them to me. I sure am. That's why I think there's being a milking. David, I think your mailbox is full the last time it I went by and checked for you. And you're gonna hear from my attorney, too. The man letters in the mail. Isn't that Morgan and Morgan? I love to hear from attorneys. I welcome yours. Our attorney, David Markman, will take care of it. Well, I wouldn't be too sure of that. Well, now, Luscious Lindsay is taking care of business for Miami Sweet Heat in the ring now, David. Well, Penelope Pink, this is an opportunity oh, for you in the coming yes. weeks because you, I know, have been focused on that championship endlessly, wrapping that gold around your waist. Oh, and now you're here to help. I thought you guys would stay at ringside to help the Carlson twins. I haven't been cleared by my doctor to be at ringside. Either. Exactly, and Sweet E doesn't need help. We're here to spectate and watch the show. But they needed help in the fatal four. Wait, never mind, we'll get back to the exactly, action Exactly, Nigel, exactly. That's lovely, Laura and uh, Luscious Lindsay working as a tandem. Oh. is cheating, but on the outside of the ring, Lana Starr and Luscious Lindsay, who's not even legally tagged into this matchup, beating down on, the, on I could, Big Rick Betty. Sorry, I couldn't turn my neck. Of course you couldn't, Vicky Lynn. I'd like to rather watch it like right here in front of me. You know, I'm giving my eye on Jeff because he's been cheating me out of things here lately, so I'm making sure he's doing his job correctly. You're commenting on the senior official of Wild Jeff McGowan. Come on, Penelope too. Pink. He's a third generation wrestling uh, family member, if you will, David. Now, as uh, Luscious Lindsay tags in with her sister and introduces the face of Big Rick Betty to that top turnbuckle. Yeah. Third generation. But yeah. his granddaddy's proud. He certainly is. He used to promote wrestling in the state of Georgia. His father, of course, wrestling used to. Scrappy McGowan. Used to. Just because they were good doesn't mean he is. Ooh, and a headbutt. Oh, oh nice oh, headbutt yeah. by Big Rick Betty. Lindsay down. Lindsay coming up now, though. And jamming the head right into the top you. turnbuckle. Yes. As Vicky Lynn said, right back at you. And now the mother's been taken down to the mat. And Lindsay Carlson is going to town. Uh -oh. What's this? Lovely Lori going Run to the third row. Carlson. Wait a second. And she got a jump. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Hit her. The coast to coast, David. Luscious Lindsay very what? upset that that wasn't any more than a one count after the coast to coast from lovely Lori. You know, David, we can That's say what we Jeff. want to about Sweet Heat, but what an impressive maneuver. It was, as they're fighting away in the middle of the ring. Let's pull that up. 
Here's the replay fans. Lovely Lori on the top third row. And she came coast to coast, jamming right into Big Rig Benny. Wow. Tampa to LA. Miami to LA. We're now back to the live action fans. Shots in the midsection, courtesy of Luscious Lindsay in this no disqualification tag team oh, match. They whoop it on him tonight. This mother's going to need a retirement home after this match. <laughs> Straight to assisted living, she goes. Big Rig Betty on the top rope and caught off guard by Luscious Lindsay. Ooh. Ooh. Taking over out. Big Rig Betty. Oh, and the way she feels, Holly she might be in trouble like Ariel Sky was earlier tonight. Ooh. Referee Jeff McGowan is busy keeping Holly Swag out of the ring. We're trying to keep this thing as clean as possible, although it is a no disqualification match. So as soon as either team can get to any dirty tools, well, they certainly can use them, David. There's no rules. Well, I'm amazed that the fabulous Lana Starr has not integrated herself into this match yet. She's just been on the outside watching. We play by the rules. Read her shirt. It um, says, be jealous, David. Yes. Of oh, jealous of what, Penelope? Herself. Well, you heard it. You asked the question, David. Got to be jealous of Lana Starr, but are you? Penelope Pink. Don't ask questions. From Detroit, ready Michigan the fans. Today. She may look nice, but don't let that fool you. Penelope Pink, you're as dirty as they come in the ring. I got to say it like it is. David, that's so nice. Oh, Thanks for the run. to the corner. Holly Swag up for the Breaks up the pin attempt. Lindsay taking away the momentum of Holly Swag, the daughter of the mother truckers. Don't talk on that. What a physical matchup we've seen so far, David. Truckers are tough in their own right, but they're still, still not in any competition. Truckers being sent to the outside of the ring. Two of them. David. Hold it. Hold it. It's a some signs. I think some fans slid to it. Some fans brought those to ringside and slid them. that she claims that she's the VIP. And David, I think that 
as a VIP, she thinks she's better than the regular people, the well, normal people. From Texas well. to Nevada, she now resides in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, and she is used to the VIP treatment. And there she is, fans, the WOW World Champion, Abilene Maverick. There you see the beautiful WOW World Championship being hoisted in the air by Abilene Maverick. And David, being from Las Vegas, Abilene Maverick bet on herself and bet on the opportunity of that wild card and was able to capture that beautiful championship belt. But tonight, David, will Princess Aussie be able to reclaim the WOW World Championship? That's yet to be seen. Well, this is her shot. This is the shot from Princess Austin. Everyone hates how she lost the championship title, and she passionately spoke about how, frankly, she didn't get the accolades she deserved to be the champion. And this is her shot now to get that. Believe me, the confetti is set, and if she's gonna win it, she will get what she wants tonight. Well, David, you know, it's interesting you bring up that point because she didn't get the confetti. In fact, she didn't even get, she being Princess Aussie, didn't even get the WOW World Championship when she became the champion. That was interrupted by Lana Star and Penelope Pink as they took the title and stole it. There's no doubt she didn't get the shine she deserved. And we're underway with the main event of today's Women of Wrestling Spectacular. Princess Aussie against the current champion, Emily. Nice takeover by Princess Aussie. Excellent takeover, and of course, this is the matchup that we really have all been looking forward to. Princess Aussie getting that opportunity. Of course, let's not forget, David, the trios tournament continues next week. Lots of things happening, and the Tonga Twins hopefully will get their rematch for the Wild World Tag Team Championship, as now Abilene Maverick is rubbing the forearm right across the face of Princess Aussie. Next week episode of WOW is going to be something you won't want to miss. That's for sure, Nigel. You never want to miss it. Here on WOW Women of Wrestling now of the WOW World Champion, Abilene Maverick, beating that forearm, but quickly shutting down the former champion, Princess Aussie. Aussie now. With the old up and over, David, and the arm drag out of the arm bar block. Princess Aussie is a technician of wrestling. You need to know that. She came here with nothing but a dream from Australia. Sacrificing everything, leaving her mother, her family, everyone at home in Australia, friends, coming to America, sleeping sometimes on the floor of an acquaintance's apartment, training every day to become a champion in this ring. Princess Aussie did it. She didn't get what she wanted. And tonight she's got a shot to become the champion again and get the accolade she deserves. Almost a three count, David. Sorry to interrupt you, but you're absolutely right. If there's anybody that trains hard, it's certainly Princess Aussie in the wild training school all the time. And it takes guts to come here. It takes guts to leave what's familiar. But Princess Aussie did it. And can she do it again tonight? By claiming the WOW World Championship, we will see Abilene Maverick still putting up quite a fight. Well, right now, the momentum, though, Nigel, is clearly in Aussie's favor. Well, she's certainly invested in this matchup and this. Fans yelling, let's go, Aussie. But Abilene Maverick Boy, with this maneuver is taking it. away that momentum. Aussie. She's doing that arm bar there, you see, and Eddie further ministering the count. And Abilene Maverick taking it all the way up to four. She knows she had to do the count of five to break the hole on the ropes now, but it's done the damage, as you can tell, to the left arm of Princess Aussie. Ooh. Shoulder block there. Trying to dislocate, possibly, the shoulder of Princess Aussie is the champion, Abilene Maverick. That's something Jesse Jones does. Of course, let's not forget Jesse Jones, Santana Garrett, and Americana. And they haven't settled that yet either. They certainly haven't. Of course, Jesse Jones calls it the target practice, Abilene Maverick. Well, she doesn't have a cute name for it, but nonetheless, it's destructive. The fans letting Abilene Maverick know what they think of her. Abilene Maverick going back to that game plan, going hooking the legs, and again, by working on that shoulder, it makes it harder for Princess Aussie to get up and kick out in this Wild World Championship matchup. Aussie slowly getting up the ropes. A kick to the midsection of the champion. Another one to the champion. The champion 
Relentless coming after Princess Aussie. Now taking Aussie over. And again, going after that strategic arm, that left arm of Princess Aussie. Looks like David, she's got her in that top wrist lock, a very elementary move, but when she has it locked in, in the middle of the ring, it makes it very difficult for Princess Aussie. She has to fight her way up, use that energy, and that's something that Abilene Maverick knows. A very resourceful wrestler now, as Princess Aussie fights her way back into this matchup. Beautiful arm drag from Princess Aussie, going all the way down under those clotheslines, and a back elbow now. Princess Aussie, David is on fire. The fans here at WOW excited to see a possible championship title change here. They oh, are there we go. They're silently behind Princess Aussie with the Aussie submission now locked in. This could be to a single. Did she just single that she gave up? She's waving her hand, David. I think Aussie just won it. The referee says no, it was a wave off. Abilene going to the bottom row. Abilene reaching. She's inches away. And she grabs the bottom rope. Abilene Maverick, great camera work there, was inches away. Barely made it, but did. And she was able to break that hold. Referee Eddie first said no. She did not tap out. She was simply waving it off. That being Abilene Maverick now on the ring apron. This is dangerous position, David. The two competitors on the outside. Abilene Maverick, I thought, had waved off to be defeated there. But no, indeed, she was stretching and reaching for the bottom rope. And now she's on the outside, taunting the fans, saying, I am the champ, baby. I am the champ. What an impactful move as our champion Abilene Maverick speared Princess Aussie on the side of the ring, much like the Spear of the Beast. Is she sending a message to the Beast, David? I don't think she's thinking about the Beast right now. She's thinking about beating Princess Aussie, who just snapped out of a potential three count. And Abilene Maverick trying to use every trick in her book to defeat the former WOW World Champion Princess Aussie, who is fueled and ready for this championship opportunity. Princess Aussie blocking the suplex attempt. Going for the small package now. Referee Eddie first says only two in this Wild World Championship matchup. Princess Aussie ducks the close line and nails. Oh, a nice hit by Aussie, taking Abilene right off her feet. The super kick connected, and Princess Aussie now has an opening. Full Nelson suplex. This could be it, Nigel. Oh, good two, three, coming now. Princess Aussie giving it all she has, and you can see the emotion on her face, David. Seconds away, but Abilene Maverick was able to snap out and move her left shoulder before being pinned. This is twice that the champion Abilene Maverick is seconds away from defeat. Princess Aussie going after Abilene. Abilene sideswiping her, taking her head into the top turnbuckle and whipping her across the ring. Abilene up. Abilene's got the energy right now. Look at this. There's the head scissors by Princess Aussie. And now Abilene Maverick, where exactly where Princess Aussie wants her. The cutter from down under. This is it, David. This is it. Aussie going up high. Aussie's getting ready to go for the frog splash herself to win the championship. This could be it. What's this? The champ just rolled out. The champion just rolled out as Princess Aussie was going to the third row to give her patented splash. Abilene Maverick, a very smart move by the champion, rolling out of danger's way with the Aussie splash. The cutter from down under was setting up Abilene Maverick. This is why she is the champion of the world. Abilene Maverick, as I said before, a resourceful wrestler, knows her way in and out of the ring, knows every inch of that ring and took advantage of it now. Boots to Princess Aussie. And she almost ran into referee Eddie Firth now. Waist lock. In reversal. Roaring back elbow. Wait a second, Abilene Maverick. What she's got this? the tights and she's got the ropes. She's got the ropes. Her feet were on the ropes. She rolled up Princess Aussie and retains the World World Championship again. Let's go! The World World Champion, Abilene Maverick! Abilene Maverick using the ropes to gain the momentum to get the pin and retain the wild championship of the world.
Princess Aussie almost became the champion of the world tonight.